Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're returning, thanks for coming back and if you're new, welcome, welcome. Today we're going to try on some clips to shorten the chain straps on our handbags. This is going to increase versatility and add new ways to use your handbags. So without further ado, let's get started. So here are the clips in question. I did mention about them during my Chanel Jumbo review. If you haven't watched the video, I'll put the link in the description box below. So you basically push the center divider this way very easily and then you will hook the chains on the two sides of it. First, let's try on this vintage Dior handbag. It comes with a very long chain strap. The chains can also be doubled up and this is the original length of it. So the first way that we're going to shorten the strap is by grabbing the double chains and then looping them on one side of the hook and doing the same on the other side. And then we push the center piece to close the gap. Now we simply loop the chains over the flap and close the back. And instantly, you have a top handle evening bag. The next method is to hook single straps on either side. And now you have a shorter single strap. This is what it looks like on its original length as a single strap and as a double strap. After we use the clips, we converted it into a top handle evening bag. We also changed it into a shorter single strap shoulder bag. Next, we're going to try on this Tory Burch bag. This is how I've got it clipped on. And we've converted to a slightly shorter shoulder bag. The bag now sits at a level that's comfortable to you. By changing the position of the clip, you can adjust the length of the strap according to your needs. We can also change this bag into a top handle bag. I had the chains pulled all the way down and then secured and left the excess inside the bag. Voila! You now have a top handle bag. And now for the Chanel Jumbo. It is important to note that you shouldn't put the clips between the top and the second flap. Otherwise, it will cause indentation marks on the leather. I know some people have done it this way, but I do not recommend it. This is the original length of the Chanel Jumbo on a single strap. It is extremely long, even for me. And I'm relatively tall. I'm 5 foot 8, 1.73 centimeters in height. And even I find that it is too long. 
most people will just carry it as a double strap. So this is one method that I've used to shorten the strap. Not the most aesthetically pleasing. I've hooked them on two sides of the bag. You can adjust it according to your preferred height. Do be careful not to let the bag lie on its back, otherwise the chain might cause an indentation mark on the back of it. You could put it on the front, but it does look a bit weird. At least this is at a more reasonable height now. The second method that I've applied is to loop them on one side like this just using one clip. And at the back, the strap is lying flat against the back. You can adjust the loop according to the height of your choice. The loop does look a little bit strange hanging out like that. So I tied a scarf over it, and now it just looks like a decoration. I'm glad that these clips are bringing new life and adding versatility to the handbags. I'm actually having more fun than I expected with these clips. <laughs> so I just wanted to highlight that these can be a little bit loose because they don't have any kind of screw to fasten them. So if you are concerned about them coming apart, there are versions that come with a screw. So you can look them up through Amazon. I bought these through a local shopping app. So you can go to Amazon or Etsy and just search for chain shortening clip. So that's how it looks. Ah, it turned out quite nicely, I think. Actually, I surprised myself. <laughs> you can decorate it with, of course, the tulips of your choice, different colors, play around with it, and uh, dress it up. And then you can bring new life to this handbag. All right, that's all, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also, Please remember to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much for spending your precious time with me. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you again next time. Bye!